Welcome back, George and Josh here, Willis Ness. I'm sure if you're here at this point, you know how this works. But just for argument's sake, uh, you know, we are a Super Nintendo uh, podcast. But we don't get to pick the games that we want to play. We pick the games that Random Will picks for us. So, uh, you know, we've lived by the will, died die by, by the will. Uh, so uh, basically what we do once we uh, uh, play the games, we rank them in a 10 episode series season and then we rank them against themselves until we get all 700 and whatever games there are and uh we did 60 yep yep so uh not even 10 percent. we took a few weeks off but we're coming back with uh uh season six episode one our overall episode 61. 61. That's what we're going with. We may realize later what season, you know, it would be the first time <laughs> yeah. we missed an episode. So, uh, uh, to start off this season, we drew a game called Artie Lotfoot. Have you ever heard of it, Josh? I have not. I've never heard of this game. I know uh, Littlefoot. That's from Land Before Time. Yeah, yeah. Well, I could have told you where it was from, but I have heard Littlefoot. Uh, Spoiler alert, Allie hates Land Before Time. She'll punch you in the face if you say, hey, you want to watch that movie? Apparently, as a kid, that's the only damn DVD they ever had, and it was that on repeat. Oh, really? Yeah. Jennifer loves Land Before Time. Yeah, she hopes Littlefoot goes extinct as far as she... Uh... <laughs> well, guess what? They did. Spoiler alert. <laughs> There's no more dinosaurs, so she wins that argument. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so... Uh... Let's just go ahead and read the back of the books and back of the box. Back of the books. And see what Mr. Artie Lightfoot's all about. You ready, Josh? Let's do it. The rainbow has been broken into seven pieces. Artie, our young and brave adventurer with Peck, his friend forever, are ready to sacrifice their lives to gather the seven gems containing the colors of the rainbow. It's kind of like Skittles, right? Sort of sounds a little bit Sonic-ish. Uh... <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> then their wishes will come true and they finally save Nina from the clutches of Visconti. So it comes down to bullet points. It's got a picture of Artie. I don't really know what he is. We'll talk about that when I finish these bullet points. Uh, Artie Lightfoot, the adventurer, can jump on his, on his tail and hide himself behind his cloak. Artie Lightfoot, a new hero, can push and pull obstacles, launch Peck to attack enemies. He can use stones, bombs, keys, and a a mirror for many purposes. Ten massive stages packed with hundreds of dangers. Oh, sorry. Run and jump through a mining town, tunnels, jungles, a giant tree, and a giant worm. Cross the ocean to discover secret ruins and mysterious caves. And find your way to Visconti's castle. What does that make you think, Josh? Man. It's, a, it's something. It, yeah. So what is fucking Artie? I don't know. That's what I was going to ask you. That was going to be my number one question. Like, he totally looks like a damn squirrel right here. He looks or a chipmunk, like, but then he's got a damn cat's tail. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I've been trying is to Is he think. like an actual cat, or is he like a make-believe a fictional animal that's neither of that? Cat or dog? Uh, maybe it's... Uh, Man bear pig. Man like bear a, pig, yeah. Uh, yep. Squirrel, cat, mouse. Yep. Or I don't know. I don't know. I'm with you. I, I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out. Okay. Uh, it was developed by ASCII ASCII. I don't know how that's how you say it. It is published by the same in Japan and Titus Interactive in North America and Europe. Okay. Uh, apparently, there are people that just absolutely love their games. Like... I, don't, I, I tried to look it up, and it wasn't real forthcoming. Uh, easy enough for me to look at uh, of some of the other games that came up, but there's a lot of people that collect that publisher, uh, developer, period. Uh, okay. So, the uh, this game was only a Super Nintendo release. Uh, they put it out in Japan in November of 93, February 94 in North America, October uh, in Europe. So without doing the numbers, uh, I'm actually cracking down. We'll say, what, four or five months from Japan release to uh, North America, and then probably about another six months 
to uh, Europe, so that sounds like it's about... It seemed like when the stuff back in the day was released in Japan, it was like a year before we got it. Yeah. But it probably really was six months, or maybe that was six months before the... I don't know. But uh, it seems like they were always longer, but six months ain't too bad to, to wait. Uh, Artie is pretty much what the Super Nintendo does. It's a single-player platformer. Uh I've got in here where I've wrote him down that maybe he's a fox. So I didn't even think about that. It could be a damn fox. I don't think he's a fox. Tail's not bushy enough. Well, maybe he's just a bad fox. I don't know if he's a fox either. So whatever the fuck you want to call this son of a bitch. A bandicoot. And what would you... I I think Peck is described as a bird. I don't know that I would call him a fucking bird. No, I... Nope. He's a puffer fish with feathers. Yeah, he's not a he's not a real animal in my opinion. Sort of Kirby-ish because he sucks things in. Yeah, yeah. So because I was trying to think what I would call Peck, but yeah, Peck is like a, a flurkin or something. A I don't flirkin. know. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so the whole point of Artie is, which is weird. Uh, so the sacred rainbow has been broken into seven pieces. Like it mentioned, you must collect them all. Uh, one thing it doesn't go in is once he collects all seven, he gets one wish. Uh, you read that in the... Oh, is it in the first thing? Yeah, it's uh, in the title or whatever, whenever you yeah, escape that, the cave. Uh, that you can bypass. I, I read it. I may have just forgot about it. It's been a minute. But uh, it's kind of weird. So like, is this family like his family? Or is he trying to get with this girl? I, I don't the, know the, what the, it is. The girl looks human. Yeah, the, the guy, guy it, looks a, human. Yeah, they're straight up humans. But I feel like he's trying to hook up. I don't know. I think he's supposed to be the protector of the forest, maybe. I I, I don't know. I don't know. It's a very strange it's relationship. It's a very, very strange relationship. Uh, so once again, it's a platformer. Uh, uh, but you got your little bird you get to throw around. Uh, you got... Basically, uh, you're, that's your attack is you throw your bird and yeah. then you jump. But if you hold the jump button down, he's got like a little pogo stick. His tail turns into a pogo stick yep. and you can Start poke bouncing. enemies and bounce higher and all that stuff. Uh, you work your way through levels. You do have bosses. Uh, and then once again, you collect all the uh, sacred pieces of the rainbow. Yep. All the uh, sacred Skittles. And... Uh, Taste the, the rainbow. So, uh, is there anything I've missed out on the lead up to Artie Lotfoot? No, no, I think you pretty much covered it, honestly. Uh, I guess we're just going to jump on in to make it and break it. Let's jump right on into it. Uh, first make it I got in here. Uh, controls were decent. Controls. I wouldn't say they were the best controls in the world, but you also got to grade them on a, a curve because... It's good enough for the platformer. Yeah. A uh, platformer is going to be killed by horrible controls. They they were good. I wouldn't say they're like the, the best platformer, the crispest, but it was in the upper uh, rather uh, uh, than uh, the lower. Yep, yeah, upper echelon of it. Uh, so the controls were pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I've put this on here. Uh, da, 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 da. Where are you at? Well, I don't know where I put this, but I know I've put this... Uh, you put it somewhere? Okay, maybe I did. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll say there's a couple parts of the game that's that's fun, uh, the aspects. So, I mean, you know, uh, what's going to separate your platformer from another platformer, right? Yeah. You're so, going to have... Level design makes it interesting, even though all platformers are the same to a point. But... It's all about that level design. It's also about how you interact with the world itself. Well, I think from the lead up to it, even though I wouldn't say that this would be a genre, like it didn't necessarily turn me on to the game. But, you know, one thing they kind of did a little different to set themselves out is it was a platformer with a RPG feel to it. Yeah. Because they did, like, I will say the cutscenes was like watching a, I mean, it wasn't Earthbound, but it was like, it was well, solid. Yeah, it was it was something to that. Yeah, uh, it was solid. Another thing is most of the time in all these platformers you got your gun or you got you know, you're jumping on them, which this did have. But uh you got uh 
peck. So you're literally boomeranging your friend around. Your buddy. Sucking off all these enemies. <laughs> and uh, so it's a little different. And, and, you know, it was pretty cool. I mean, I'll say that uh, peck was my favorite attack yeah. uh, compared to the little pogo stick jump, you know, butthole jump. Yeah. But, uh, uh, and then there was a few more things that was kind of, kind of clever. Uh, wasn't like the biggest deal for me, but when, uh, when you could actually hide, duck down, look up. And that's one thing I did like is the, uh, the sprites actually looking where you were going. Yep. Uh, but I don't know if it was a mirror or glass or whatever. When you would go, somebody would, uh, enemy would throw something at you. I think it was up or down. I can't remember. I think it was up. Yeah, he would actually like pull out a mirror, mirror yeah, and, and like stand it. behind it and yeah. it would go past. Uh, so I mean, they they made a pretty damn good effort. I mean, you know, it's easy now to look at all the platformers on Super Nintendo and say, oh, it's just another platformer. It is just another platformer, but you know, they were going on a curve. I mean, they were they trying were, to make it their own, and I, I give them props yeah. for that. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like I'm missing something, Josh. I know that. Uh, it's always the first, uh, the, the first I, episode of a season. I feel like I've missed yeah, something I, critical. I, I, I get it, and I'm sitting here trying to think. Uh, uh, I do have in here too. Uh, levels are short uh, now. They're, and I'm gonna, I guess, outline. Uh, I'll give it a positive. But there's a shit ton of damn levels in here. Yeah, uh, but they're short, which is probably good in my opinion. I don't think I could play. Mr. Nuts, like a, le a level that long with this game. No, no. Uh, no I barely no. do it with Mr. Nuts, but it would be a kiss of death. So it was like, I was happy to get out of the levels when I did. I think they were appropriate. Yeah, uh, I agree with that. Uh, what do you got on your heart for it, Joshua? I'm trying to figure it out, honestly, because I'm trying to think. One thing I did like, because I... You know, even though I enjoy the games, I'm never going to tell you that I'm good at them. Uh, Unlimited continues, so I feel like you can beat this game as long as you got the time and the will to do it. Yeah, yeah, that is very true. So uh, that's one thing that, uh, uh, you know, oh, well, you know, you know, it ain't like uh, uh, like Contra or something where you're limited or yeah. like Mr. Nuts where you're yeah. like, oh, man, I died three times already. I'm fucked. Yeah. You know, you, know, you just be like, okay, well... Uh, uh, I did. Uh, now, are we moving into the pros and cons of it, or are we just saying the highlights before we start moving in? Oh, no, it? no. I was giving my make it. So that, oh, okay. So, my thing is this I did enjoy the fact that whenever you did get hit, if you lost Peck, he popped back up in a chest in the, in the world itself. Yeah, like and in I'm, the stage, I thought that was a really cool aspect. Of I ain't gonna beat up on it, but I felt like there was too many pecs around there. Like you could get them back pretty easy. You could, you could, but I think that's what this game was geared towards. This whole platformer thing was more. I, I felt like it was more geared towards kids. Yeah, I agree. Because the platforming wasn't too hard. I wouldn't say that it uh, wasn't Mega Man level hard platforming. I don't know that. I would probably say, and you may be right with kids. For me, I feel like it would be, instead of just saying it's a kid's game, because I think it's a little bit more than that. Yeah. I feel like you would say, hey, this is a game you could go rent at the video store and your parents ain't got to worry about you over here pulling someone's spine out like yeah. fucking Mortal Sub Kombat or Scorpion, yeah. you know? And uh, so, you know, it's a, a E for everybody. Yeah. yeah. Well, and it wasn't too challenging, I don't think, because I'm not going to lie, I didn't beat the game. I didn't either, but the game didn't seem too hard to me. I made honest. it to about like level five. Yeah, it, it, you know, not to you know, spoil alert on it. I felt like the game was pretty blah for me. Yeah, uh, it was a good little time kill, but it wasn't something that I was overly excited to play. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I wasn't excited necessarily so, once I got into. it. I mean, there was a couple of cool things about it, but. Uh, uh, once again, I think it's just like, oh, if you just got the time to sit here and play it over and over, you're going to beat it. So yeah. it would appeal to kids of all ages. I did know? like the password aspect of it. Mm -hmm. That was a really cool feature. You did not have an options menu. You just had start game and password. Oh, yeah, that was it. Uh, uh, then the other thing that I thought was 
okay with it was, and I'm surprised you didn't shout this from the rooftops, there wasn't instant death spots. There were spots, but they weren't instant death. You're, you're right. Now, <laughs> there's one thing uh, that uh, I got to put in the make it just because it gave me a little uh, uh, satisfaction. So, like, when you're playing Sonic and you hit your damn your checkpoints. You always hit that little thing and it spins yeah, around. Sp- I, I don't like, I mean, even when it's a checkpoint and you walk past it and like the torch lights up. I forget what game we played that was like that. But I remember that. Oh, being, yeah, yeah, yeah. It might have been Gods or something. I like think that. it was. But I want an interaction with my checkpoint to make sure that I hit the checkpoint because I'm a fucking idiot. And sometimes I yeah. have in my mind that I'm going to do it and I don't. Yeah. And I like the little checkpoints. Uh, I don't even little know what they're they like. It's a, a scribe monkey. Yeah. Okay, well, I didn't know what it's, what it's called. I just thought it was like a little totem or whatever. No, it, it's a totem, but yeah, it's a little monkey with a with a quill and a pad of paper. And whenever you jump on it, it, it just goes down. The quill goes onto the paper. And so I did like that. It's like, okay, well, I've seen it move. Now, I don't know. Did you have to jump on it every time? I felt like when you jumped on it once, it should have been safe. But then it starts you right there. I'd go jump on it again. I did. Just I, I, ju- I jumped on it every single time. So uh, 100%. I did get the satisfaction just from that animation. Yep. Uh the uh, the sprites were okay. They were, uh, uh, you know, speaking of those, like, eh, I felt like the cutscene ones were a little bit. They were dated, is the best way to put it. Yeah, but you know, it overall wasn't wasn't bad. Uh, uh, I mean, it's what you expect with a game from nineteen ninety four exactly. on a Super Nintendo. You yep. know, uh, exactly. It cartoony the way it it needed to be. Uh, one thing that was kind of strange, and I guess I like it. Was how after you beat a level, how you went to like an overhead map that kind of gave it more of an RPG feel. Yeah, uh, I didn't ever control none of that shit. It just moved me over to the it, next it, level. It, it moved it on its own. Uh, it gave you like I guess something to watch. Yeah, uh, like a little load screen type deal, which was kind of cool. I will say, I guess it's the theme for the nineties. There is a damn level. Where you're inside, I'm going to say a butthole, but you're in the inside <laughs> of a worm or whatever. And it's like, I guess, in the damn grand scheme of 1990s games, uh, shit, what was that other one we played? Uh, Radical Rex. Radical Rex. You're crawling through a sphincter, I feel yep. like. Uh, damn, I can't remember that fucking gerbil's name off of uh, oh, South uh, Park. Yeah, I, I know. I don't know. <laughs> That's the music I hear in my head. I know. So, uh, oh, dang. Hang on, hang on, hang I on. I think it's like Twiddle Winks or it's, I, I, it's Tiddly Wink or something like that. Let's see here. South Park. Gerbil. Gerbil. Lemmy Winks. Lemmy Winks. Damn it. I knew it. Lemmy Winks. Uh, but... I, I think uh, probably Earthworm Jim, there's one where you're going through the body. Of course, he's, uh, I feel like that's one. I may be wrong, but he's a worm, so it makes sense. So <clears throat> I guess in 1990s, uh, traveling through the bowels and the stomach of uh, things were a big deal. I didn't remember it that much in the 90s, but I bet it was pretty fucking cool. I'm just kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of over it at this point. Yeah. But, uh, I've only got one more make it, Josh, so you leave it out there on the field, and I'll tell you what mine is, and you might not agree with my make it. Uh, no, I think we covered everything because the only other thing, <clears throat> it's not a make it, it's not a break it for me. Music and sound effects. They were very, okay. they, they were very middle of the road. So I didn't really notice them. There wasn't a wow moment in the sound effects or make it, but yeah, that that's where I'm sick. That's I'm yeah. So I don't know if they necessarily meant to, and I may just be off fucking base with it, but, uh, a lot of the stages reminded me of other games a little bit. Like, uh, some of them didn't, but like the stage, uh, I hate to call it first stage because I feel like the first stage was like that prologue. Uh, it was, but the first where you fought the mole, where you're like on the damn little uh, mon cars. Yeah, I felt like that reminded me of like Sonic esque. I don't know if it's because it's moving quick. I feel like Sonic was in some damn. Uh, uh, mine cars at one point. I may be making this up, nope. but for some reason, I nope. got in my mind it reminded me of fucking Sonic. Nope. The set that okay. The stage after that, he goes through a mine, but he's never on mine carts. Same thing. Now uh, who you know who's on mine carts? What Mega Man? 
you know, it didn't remind me anything of that. But the way the level is set up, I guess, at least with it speeding through and yeah. sliding down them hills. So then the next one, you're in like a forest, but it's real foggy. And I'm telling you, it reminded me of like one of the damn temples on Secret of Mana. Yeah. And it had that aesthetic. It had that, had that feel. Now, did, would you say, hey, I'm playing Secret of Mana? Hell no. But if you played Secret of Mana and you love it like I do, I'm like, hey, this kind of looks a little, a little bit like the stage of yeah. Secret of Mana. And it, later on, and we're probably stretching a little bit, but there's the part where you're fighting, I think, one of the damn foxes or flying squirrels or whatever, and it's got a Castlevania feel. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like Castlevania, but like that Simon Belmont would be in this stage, but it's a little more cartoony yeah. Castlevania part there. Uh, so I, I don't know. That's probably my favorite part was, is like, Hey, some of these, but it seemed like they did reference other video games. And I don't know if they meant to, and it may just be me wanting to connect those dots. But, uh, uh, I don't know. That was where I was at on it. Humans like to see patterns. Uh, we're ready to go in to break it, Josh. Yep. Let's, I, let's destroy this game. I want to tell you the first thing that was complete bullshit with this game is the startup was fucking horrible. <laughs> there wasn't a startup. It was just goddamn gameplay with them announcing the who Who's wrote in? it. Yeah. And, yeah. and it was like the first stage. But wait. Okay, let's hit start and go to the first stage. And actually, after you hit start, there was like, you know, where it hit start and continue. And I'm like. That's weird. No start and password. Or start and password. Why didn't you just start me at this screen? Yeah. I could have dealt without you guys jacking yourselves off, uh, <laughs> putting your damn names all over the damn place. I mean, I would probably do the same damn thing. Cause, you know, fuck. <laughs> I couldn't do that. I mean, so I'm beating this game up, but I can't fucking do that. Yeah. Uh, I probably couldn't do it if I had 10 years experience. But so then I, I get to the first level and it's not even really like a level. It's just I call a it little, like a prologue. Yep, yeah, it's just a little prequel. And it wasn't even fun. Yep. And and then you get it, and then it's like, oh, now you're in the game. And I'm like, oh, well, I would think, you know, maybe if you're making a game and you're trying to get people enthralled in it, maybe you throw some shit out there like you ain't ever seen before. Yeah. Like, hey, get it out here where you're throwing peck around. Hey, get it where you're like jumping or where you're like going on some conveyor belts. Give me a taste of every level, maybe. Like, give me your best shot in just a small amount and then say, okay, now start the game. Or, Here's what you got to or, look forward or, to. Or do this. Do this. It's a prequel. A jumps. X throws peck. Hold jump makes you do a pogo stick. Press down or up does mirror. Uh... I just think that you should, if you said, hey, here is the prologue level to make you want to play this game, I never want to play that fucking game. And then also, you know what you also need on that? What? If you're going to introduce like the prologue level, give me a look at the bosses in the background. Yeah. Give yeah. me something entertaining to look at as I'm going through there instead of what, this fucking cave? Yeah, I, it was just, it was very drab. It was very boring. The other thing I hated about it, too, prologue level, one thing. You couldn't die. Just, I mean, you couldn't take damage. Okay. I'm I didn't not, know that. Yeah. I was just... But there was no through. way for you to take damage. Like, I tried everything because I'm sitting here. Like, after I played it, started it, I'm like, okay, interesting. I'm like, now, wait a minute. Can you actually die in the prologue level? And then I went through there and done everything that I could. No, you can't die or anything like that. But... Again, give me the feeling of it. Like, say you take damage, spot disappears, you walk forward, you find Peck again. But yeah, I I, I don't get it. I, I did not enjoy the prologue or prequel or which leads me setup. to the, maybe. And you're right. Uh, yeah, I call it setup. Uh, I thought the story was pretty weak. So uh, I don't know. I mean, I felt like you checked some boxes on how to make your platformer different. And throwing peck was cool. It was kind of like the only other ones I really got on top of my head that I'm like, hey, you know, the main hero relies on somebody. It would be Mario and Yoshi. I'm sure I'm forgetting a few of them in there. But it's like you're using them in a different way than Yoshi. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. And it's like... The most iconic in I, that time frame would have been Mario and Yoshi, I think. I, I felt like maybe... Uh, or... Finding pieces of a rainbow. That kind of sounds goofy. 
It kind of sounds like fucking kid cleats dropping a plunger on a fucking trophy <laughs> that breaks into seven different pieces or whatever. And, you know, maybe I've just got flashbacks and I'm prejudiced P- against kid P- cleats. PTSD. Yes. But it's like, uh, you could have basically, like, the story, in my opinion, is weak. I'd have been better if you just didn't give me a damn story. Just say, hey, we're trying to make it out of this damn forest. Go at it. Hey, stuck in these damn caverns. Hey, I'm in a worm's butthole. Let's get the fuck out. Yeah. Like, that's all you have to do. And, and the whole rainbow thing is why I think this was more geared towards kids. And that's why I don't think it was as challenging or anything like that. But that's just my overall opinion. But, I mean, who the hell am I to say? Because, I mean, we, we, we don't have a right to judge people who like playing video games because, for one, you're stuck on Bellatro still. Oh, absolutely. And I, I've, I've had to make myself feel better by playing like a game of NCAA after like an hour of it. And then I get fucking raped in NCAA. Yeah. So then I want to go back and play fucking cards because that's my safe space. Yeah, and then I'm over here playing Star Wars uh, Survivor still. Uh, all right. Here's another thing I fucking hated about this game. I didn't like the fucking enemies. No. Enemy- the enemies suck. The bosses were okay. I didn't, even, I didn't really like them. I just like, oh, well, I'm fighting a fucking mole. Well, I don't know what I even am, but I can at least tell it's a mole. Hey, there's like a damn flying squirrel jumping off here. Well, I didn't know what he was. I thought he was kind of like a fucking fox. And it started like flying squirrel in his ass around. And then I think there is a fox later on. And I'm like, I don't know. The bosses were the best part. At first, I didn't think we were going to get a real fucking boss. Same here. And I'm like, this is pretty weak. And then it, I'm like, maybe I stand a chance because I ain't got to beat one of these motherfuckers, yeah. right? But no, even it's like your run of the mill enemies uh, just I'm, weren't fun. I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck the green things were. Uh, I guess you would call them the same thing Peck is. They kind of was Peck ish. But uh, yeah, not a fan of. Uh, no. of it's like Super Mario World, the little brown Goombas on there. Those aren't fucking Goombas, those are walking potatoes. So just throwing this out here, maybe Devil's Advocate. advocate. Maybe I'm just stupid. I check both them boxes. Uh, maybe you make the game over whatever the fuck these things are. So, say you call them blurbs or whatever. Yeah. And be like, it's like that damn Star Trek episode with Tribbles. It's like, we brought a couple of them back and they reproducing. So help us get these fuckers under. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I felt like there was a better storyline. Is like the most unique part of it was these lame ass enemies. I didn't know what they were. Yeah. You could at least make a story around the fucking enemies, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I, I get it. Or, or tell me why the fuck does this mole want a piece of fucking rainbow? Or why does that fox want a piece of rainbow? I think and there was also, a fucking genie. I, I kind of probably get why he wants a piece of rainbow. He ain't got shit. But, uh, there was. He, he, he used all his wishes, so he needs a wish for himself. Okay. Uh, the Also, the beginning of it, whenever it shows you the villain behind the curtain on top of the balcony, straight up Bowser feel. Shit, what was his fucking name? Visconti. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Straight up Bowser feel at that beginning of it. And my first thought is, motherfucker, the girl's going to get kidnapped, right? <laughs> so, she didn't get kidnapped. She did though. not get kidnapped. Uh, okay, so I didn't like the fucking enemies. But you know what else I didn't like? I didn't like having to pogo stick these fucking enemies. Like, yeah. every platformer that I fucking played, you either can jump on their heads or you can't. And this one, you can, but, but you, you can't. can't. You jump on it. That damn mole is when I realized. Like, I'm like, I tried to jump on one of the damn little fuckers after Pet got going. The, the green dudes. And it hurt me or it yeah. killed me. Or I tried it to kills do it. You. And, and so I'm like, okay, well, I can't jump on it. Then I get to the mole, and that's when I realize I have a fucking huge disdain for this. He throws his damn hat, and I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I mean, ain't nothing damn I'm dodging these fucking like boulders coming down and I was doing it good I felt like a badass for a fucking minute and then I go over there and I just jump like spread eagle fucking land on his head and it fucking kills me yeah I'm like are you goddamn killing kidding me and then it took me like of course I died like I went through another continue and I'm like why the fuck can I not kill him I'm like surely god I ain't gotta like pogo stick his ass that's exactly what you have to yep. fucking do you have to, that is bullshit right you there, have sir. to pogo stick and it's stupid it's so stupid. I mean, make it an option maybe to like bounce up higher like the rest of the fucking game. 
that I mean jumping on somebody's head should count for jumping on somebody's yeah, head. Yeah, I don't need to penetrate you with my appendage. Yeah, to, to kill you. Yeah, uh, I mean, maybe. I mean, it might make you feel worse before you die. Yeah, uh, that's 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 just bragging rights at that point. So, uh, I've I've really got one more that I'm, I'm gonna let you go because I'm surprised you ain't brought this up. Because I laughed, because I'm like, okay, this is bullshit. But uh, I, if you want to take a guess, you can. If you want me to tell you what it is, I, uh, I wish the insta- the spots were insta kills. No, just ju- just for you, like I really do. But uh, it's something I noticed on the first level. Maybe the prologue level. I can't remember if it was the prologue or the first level. I have no idea. I think it was the prologue. It's like, how come I can't make this jump? Hey, let me fucking bounce. Oh, the sprint! Quick. Oh, you got a Mister Fucking Nut sprint. Even though he does move a little quicker, he moves a little quicker. That's... But he don't like they don't advertise. Hey, there's a goddamn sprint no, button here. No, because but... you don't really even have to use it no. a lot during the game. No, but there's times where you need to. But but I'm like they're trying to Mister Nuts us right here. But yeah, I didn't I didn't even think of that because like you said, he does move a little faster. It wasn't Mr. Nuts because Mr. Nuts, you did not move faster. You just jumped farther. So, yeah. No, I I was fine with that. Uh, I've got, I've hit all my high points on it. Uh, if you got anything you want to add or I'll just kick it a, da- kick it a little bit more, uh, free ball it. Uh, the controls wasn't good for me on my emulator. Yeah, they were okay. So, so I, yeah, my, my, my controls weren't good on my emulator. But, of course, that could have just been the emulator I was using. But Like we talked about before, I was like, it was good enough for a platformer. Yeah. But I ain't going to say, like, I didn't have Mega to, Man is pretty pretty precise. You had to be it, pixel you know, perfect and everything So, like that. there are plenty of platformers with worse controls. Yeah. I would grade this in the upper 50 to 60% instead of the lower uh, percentage of it. I, I would give you that, too, even on my emulator. But, you know, it was nothing to write home about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, it was a very vanilla-ish. I, well, I hate to say a vanilla game because it was kind of weird and it was kind of strange and it had new aspects, but it was like uh, uninspiring for me. It wasn't fully mind grabbing. It was not bad like the games that we have played. Yeah, but it wasn't necessarily like gripping. Like it's like, oh, okay. It wasn't enthralling. If I I can just keep playing this game and I'll eventually beat it. Uh, I didn't get to the point like where I'm like, oh, I've got to finish this fucking... I didn't finish it because I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty well done at this point. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it's a... Uh, why do we say it's a sandwich game? Yeah. Yeah, you just sandwich while somebody's playing the game and you're good with that. Uh, or you may be getting sandwiched. Who knows? It, yeah. <laughs> uh, just okay. Just okay for me. I mean, you know, regardless, uh, when it comes to ranking, uh, we know where it's going to be. Yeah, but uh, is there anything left that you have you want to talk about on uh, the gameplay of Artie Lotfoot? Anything you forgot about on the Make It? Or anything that just pisses you off enough about the Break It? No, no, I think we covered it all. Like I said, it was a very mediocre game. It was a nice little palate cleanser from yeah. last from last season. Yeah, I mean, uh, once again, if you, if you told me uh, you loved Artie Lotfoot... First thing I would say is be like, hey, is that one of the... I mean, I'm sure you were probably like me. Like, hey, was that one of the 20 games you had? Or was that, like, the only game you had that summer that you played? Like, I mean, it's not it's not yeah. horrible. But, like, I find it... I would not go out to say, oh, this is the best game you're going to play. The no, no, th- this is not there. a hidden gem. This is not Sunset Riders. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I... The ranking episode. I'm very high on Sunset Rock. You are. You are. Uh, I don't know. Uh, no, I don't think I don't got any break. I know I don't got any more make it because it was very mediocre, very middle of the road. I think we covered all the high points that we could. Think I felt of. like I was missing something on the make it because I felt like the game was better than what I talked. Yeah. But then on the break it, I felt like there should be more break it's, but there really wasn't. It was just kind of. Uh, but say, okay, yeah. but say the only thing I could ask for is clarify what the fuck the enemies are, what Peck is, what Artie is. Right. But that that's just me nitpicking. Maybe he says that in the manual. Maybe in the manual you'll look at it and it says Artie Lightfoot, 
is a Zizagoon Wombat. As, <gasps> is he a Wombat? I don't know. Is he a Weasel? As, is a, he man, a, as a man, though. We don't read no damn manuals. True. Now, I will collect them to get my CIBs, but I've never <laughs> read the first damn one of them. Uh, True. Okay. So, moving on, I've got some reviews, I've got price charting, and i got speed runs, brother. Okay. No fun facts? Uh, no, I didn't really get too far into the fun facts on it. Uh, it was just uh, mediocre enough. Like, when I would... I don't really have a dedicated place that I go to find the fun facts. Yeah. So, uh... uh you just gotta hit Reddit or random Well, shit. a lot of what I'll do is, uh... uh it will bring me to every other freaking Wikipedia yeah. and big bomb cast and all these other yeah. casts. And it's basically the same stuff in a different form. Yeah. Uh, but you know, uh, I don't, I'm, I don't hear anybody talking about already. I, I don't know. I, not a bad game, but f- a game I've never heard of. I don't hear people talking about it. Any of that. It's just kind of a strange game for me. Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you, we got a Game Pro Super Play and Electronics Gaming Monthly okay. uh, reviews. Okay. Uh, Electronics Gaming Monthly praised the game for its huge levels, numerous character abilities, and impressive bosses, but warned prospective buyers that a great deal of patience required due to the game's extremely high difficulty. They scored a 7.2 out of 10. The fuck is the difficulty? I didn't think this game was that difficult, but... I didn't beat it, so I guess you take that. I just didn't want to beat it. I, I made it to level five, and it still wasn't terrible. 7.2 out of 10. I feel like you're probably more like a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, uh, yeah, I was about to say six and a half. Uh, in Game Pro, uh, now everybody wants to beat up on Game Pro. They gave it a positive review. I guess Game Pro is the one that sells their reviews, yeah. but I still love Game Pro. I do regardless. too, just because like, they're fun. They're the ones that have them top 10 lists. Yeah. Uh, that we go through during fantasy football. Yeah. Uh, Game Pro gave it a positive review as well, citing the varied gameplay and cartoony, the varied gameplay and cartoony and colorful graphics. That's pretty yeah. accurate. Uh, Superplay gave the game an overall score of 83%, praising the graphics, animation, and sound. I feel like that's probably hot, but you know, yeah. 94 was wild. Yeah. You know, like I say, you got you got a damn level where you're cr- climbing through something's butthole. So take yep. that for what yeah. it's worth. And also, it is the Game Pro that does the top 10 for us, but it's the PlayStation magazines that gives us the videos that I review. That we all take a guess at what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> so what we do during our fancy football draft after we get done drinking uh, profusely is Josh reads us reviews on games no, or movies. No, I pick a movie. Like, we have these magazines. that are PlayStation. George has these magazines, PlayStation magazines. And in them, they, get, they tell you the top movies for the month of that year. And, like, it'll be like The Matrix. And I got to give you the most vague story behind it. Oh, yeah, it. that's it. And you got to guess, gotta it. guess it. And it sounds stupid, equally stupid. You get some beer and you're hanging out, it's fucking fun. Because it, you don't, it, you feel like a fucking idiot. Yeah, because after I, after I tell you what it is, or if I give you like the very outlandish hints, you're like, like uh, what was it? Uh, underworld. Like, I, all I had to do was say, leather. Kate Beckinsale. Yeah. And then everybody immediately knew Underworld. Hey, I I rewatched this movie recently, and I thought of that, explaining movies badly, and it was like a bunch of weathermen breaking up a marriage. Anchorman? No, it's the fucking first twister. <laughs> like, they are all... Co- this dude brings his wife down here to get fucking divorce papers. And he's that getting cock-blocked right. by everybody. That and then right. his old lady leaves and everybody's fucking happy. Yeah. It's just a bunch of weathermen cock-blocking a marriage is what they're doing. That is it, and, isn't it? And I'm like, God damn. Like, it's about <laughs> twisters and fucking this dude's marriage over. Like, that's good. Now, the new Twisters movie I watch... Uh, was it so much that? But, uh, I haven't watched the new Twister. All right. I'll watch Deadpool and Wolverine instead. Do you want price charting or do you want... Speed run me. Speed runs. Speed run me. All right. So there's only one difficulty. Yep. Uh, we've got all uh, different 
All over the place. All over the place. The person that owns the speed run was two years ago. Still defending champ. Uh, and some of these speed runs go back eight years ago. Okay. So, if you had to just randomly take a guess, how quick do you think somebody can beat this game? Now, mind you, there's a lot of levels. I, I want to a- say there was like 18, maybe. I thought you read off 10. Maybe it was 10. Uh, I can't remember. But the, the levels were pretty... They're pretty lengthy. They're pretty, not, they're not they're super right, lengthy. I, I thought they were kind of short. Some of them were anyway. Uh, well, okay, hang on. Now, are we classifying levels in like the first level where you're upstairs... Well, not upstairs, but you're on the surface world evading bombs and then you jump in the mine. To the well chasing. The when did mall. we go to like the new? I forget what it said. It was new act, new stage, new. I forget what the okay the, the phrase. So, so was. those are actual stages. Yeah, that's what I call it. I mean, okay. yeah, I may be wrong. It's just you know when you give me a hard stop to put the controller down, whether you give me a cutscene or you just push me to the next thing, I feel like that's a stage yeah. break. For okay. Me. Well, yeah. Then some that they were they were pretty. Some of them were pretty short. I know stage four was a little lengthy, but that was because it was a little difficult. So, not, not super difficult, but a little difficult. It was the jumping that was a little annoying. The last place person, his name is S O B O R K I D. It's Sober Kid. Sober Kid? He's like way behind the others. So there's a wide range. I feel like if you just give me a number, you probably get close to it. I would say, I mean, speedrunners are different breeds. Absolutely. So I would probably say this could probably be ran in 30 minutes. Sober Kid is in sixth place, and he is way behind at 50 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, he did it eight years ago, three years ago, a Brazilian, Danielo, D-A-N-I-L-O, Roxette. Danilo Roxette. Okay. Did it in 28 minutes and 15 seconds. Okay. Uh, going up to number four is Artucino, A-R-T-U-C-I-N-O. We've seen him on here before or her before. Yeah. Uh, 24 minutes, 17 seconds. Uh Oh my god. S H I K I. Would you call that Shiki? Yeah, that's Shiki. It's uh, Shiki Behemoth. Or okay. Behemoth. How do you say that? B E H E M O T H. Behemoth? Yeah, Behemoth. Shiki Behemoth. I feel like you could change it to Cheeky Behemoth. Yeah, I would. Uh, G I Y G A S. Gigas Blues. B L U E S. I'm, I'm sorry, I guess I'd say Shiki uh, Bim, Behemoth did it in 23 minutes, uh, 33 seconds. I don't know if I can't say that word or Favel right over and over. <laughs> uh, so Giga's Blues, six years ago, did it in 23 minutes and 21 seconds. And this motherfucker comes in. His name is E R O B R Y A N F U Y U. So it's Aero Brian Fuyu. Okay. He came in here. Where's the flag from? It's a gold fucking gem. I don't even know what you call it. It don't even tell me. No. He's, That's not a flag. That's he, just he a gold gem. He has achieved gym. enlightenment, apparently. Yeah. Uh, he came in here and beat it, the second place guy, by a minute and fucking 17 seconds. Damn. Uh, he did it in 22 minutes and four seconds. Okay. Uh, and watching the speed run of that is probably more entertaining than the game, to be honest. I did not watch the speed run. I did not watch it either, but it probably would yeah. be. Uh, all right, so I've got it pulled up here, but I've, I've got it because I'm going to give you a little, I can give you some hints. It's time for price charting. Josh. Okay. So, Artie Lightfoot, I have. Uh, Wait, hang on, hang on. Get your paper out. I need here. my paper for my math. Oh, here's your pencil. Okay. So I, I hinted it with it being an ASII game, and yep. uh, some people are cl- like that. Collected. AS what? I think it was ASCII. Okay. Okay. So put a star next to that. That means that okay. It's a game I ain't heard of. Okay. Uh, I don't think you heard of it either. Nope. So uh, it's uh, unknown? Question mark. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, now I mean the the brand's unknown to me too, but you know mm-hmm. I gave you a little hint there. If you would like for me to tell you the lowest it ever was on price charting, I will tell you what the price is and the year it was. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I like that. So give me a year first. So we're looking in 
it did not get to the exact date. Mid 2009. 2009. Okay. Ooh, that's a long time ago. In mid 2009, I show it at five dollars and seventy seven cents. Mid. Okay. You said five seventy five. Five seventy seven. Five seventy seven. Yeah, whatever you want. Call it six dollars. Yeah, six bucks. Okay. If you give me a date. Anywhere 2020 or <laughs> sooner, I will give you the price for it then. So that's your that's your one lifeline is you can pick mid or the start or the end of the year. Nope, I won't. Mid 2019. Mid 2019. I want 10 years. I want a decade. Oh my God. I want a decade. <laughs> mid 2019. In June, well, that just had where I hovered. You're getting June close enough. That is halfway. $96.61. Okay. (laughs) Okay. All right. All right. So that's all you got. (laughs) I feel like you just got Chris Angel mind fucked. Just Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Hang on. Okay. Let's see. Let's do this math. Let let me break it. I don't know what kind of math you're doing here, but. Okay. Roughly, roughly 10 years. So let's see here. That is 120 months. So I'm gonna do 120 months divided. What do you put in for COVID? What's the calculations for COVID? Whenever this is before. Spot? Well, okay, that's the thing. This is before I know, COVID. But after COVID, COVID everything's uh, fine. COVID is its own thing. Okay. So that, that's my okay. own variable there. So let's see. It's here. like a goddamn housing market. It never goes yep. back to where it yep. was. Yep. Let's see here. You said 96 and a dollar. Nine six dollars and sixty one cents. Okay, okay, okay. And that might that sixty one cents might play a factor. Okay. So <laughs> my math is a little little right. A little jank. A little jank. It's dirty math. It's quick math. So I'm looking at this game went up in price roughly eighty one cents a month. According to this, oh my gosh! According to according, uh, so we're going to a monthly breakdown. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, I, I feel I don't feel so bad about my complete <laughs> inbox collection. There. You proceed to tell okay. me, uh, a okay. thousand and twenty-two months later, what is it? A month. So that that right there. Just so you know, roughly eighty-one cents it, a month. It says it'll tell me if it's trending up or down. It is trending at zero with one sale per month. Okay, so it's about neutral, right? Oh now. yeah, it's it's plateaued. Okay, at this okay, so that oh, so that so we're at the plateau now. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna use that plateau as a square root. Plus, with square root being COVID. Oh my God, this is like Terrence Howard math on Joe Rogan. Yep, yep. So one times one equals two. So eighty-one cents per month for a hundred and. 20 months. Think of how many kids you could feed a day with Sally Struthers. Yeah, especially in uh, Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Okay, okay. Da, da, ha, ha, ha. He's literally got a square root sign with COVID in it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see. Here. COVID was roughly, I would say, about 30% increase of everything. I like. I don't know that. You're wrong, but I don't think you got any fucking facts to support that. <laughs> this is what cracks me up, is it sounds right, but like, I don't think there, if somebody says cite your work, there is nothing to cite. But This is the citing right okay. here. I mean, you're seeing you're seeing the magic oh, happen I'm right now. I'm seeing something. Okay, so I'm going to say right now, that game, if you get it right, I'll kiss your ass, is going to be worth Two hundred and eighty-one dollars and sixty cents. No, you're pretty good, huh? I was gonna tell you, Josh. Pretty good. Okay, I'll give you one more guess. Pretty you, good, you, huh? You're you're okay. way high. Okay, then. Duh, huh, 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 huh. Yeah, I can tell. I will tell you mm-hmm. at its peak. Minus the they two. showed it at its peak at two hundred and ten dollars and fifty-two cents. Okay, two hundred and ten. That was in its peak in November of 2022. 2022. Okay. That was close to the end of the year. Christmas season. The Christmas season. So that's probably one Krampus of the reasons is out. why it's spot. Okay. 
So <laughs> I tell I tell you, if you say I got a fucking Christmas present, this goddamn Marty Lightfoot, I don't. I, you got me. You fucking got me. You know, a pair of socks, a damn pair of thieves underwear. Uh, Artie Lightfoot not on the fucking Christmas list. Okay, so it's plateaued. So we're probably on the down tick a little bit. There's the total you had before. That's the total. Here's the total you need to put. Yep, out. yep. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So okay, let's let's go. This with is like watching a, a dang, monkey learn to use tools. Let, <laughs> let's let's go down from the COVID thirty percent increase, which is what got us to that two ten. So now we're going back down, and everything's trying to settle back due to COVID. So let's make that a rough fifteen percent, about half. Not great, but still not good. And then I'm going to say... I felt like I could have went and peed during all of this. 184.57. You're pretty fucking close. <laughs> the survey says a loose copy of this is $173.34. Okay! So, <laughs> all right, goddamn Russell Crowe to Beautiful Mind. What do you think a complete copy of this? Oh, there There's you. four of them a year. Um. Now I'm gonna go back to my basic math. Okay, uh, away from advanced fucking yeah. calculus. Yeah, I get a damn beer while you're cracking these numbers. Okay, okay. Ooh, I don't know. That's a bit high. Don't don't shoot for the moon. Is what I'll tell you. I don't know if I want to go with that by my basic math. Okay. No, okay, let's say, let's say, I will give you another hint of, I would say think small, compared to your normal arithmetic. I know, that's what I'm doing, like, my times three, that's like $554, I'm going to go small with it, because that seems a bit much. I'm going to go 223. A complete uh, copy sells four times a year, at, even at $337. Okay. All right. So, you know, all the shits. Uh, just to, to put this into perspective, I guess I could have told you this before you got to the complete copy. A box only price is $81.37. A manual is $93.53. Okay. Uh, what, do you, what do you think a new, one new one sells a year, roughly? One new one a year? If you say 300, normally my results would be to multiply that by four, which would be roughly 1,200. I think that's way too high, personally. I'm going to go with 872. A uh, new price, $1,078. So I should have went with my 1,200, yes. Yeah, you are, it would have been high, but... So we're just going to say, hey, it's a it's $173.34. Josh, if I offered you eighty bucks or this give me the game, fucking get, give me the cash. Yeah, give me course, the fucking there cash. There is no reason this game should be this expensive. No, no. There are like say you can take eighty game or eighty dollars and probably uh, buy like three of our top ten games at this point. Taking a picture. of Well, that. you can damn put it on your damn refrigerator. You can rip <laughs> that page off because I don't know what the shit that is. It's uh, great math. Well, that I, I agree. I would I would not be caught dead spinning that. Like I don't know that I could in my good faith if I was just collecting it. I don't know if I could spend forty bucks on it. Yeah, like no. twenty bucks would probably be my my top out on it. Yeah, but I would buy it for forty bucks just to flip it, and then I'd bring it home and then put it in my collection and not flip it. Yeah, I would think I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah. Uh. So the uh, we're going with the ranking, Josh. Guess what? Number one. <laughs> it is number one. It is the Mount Rushmore of uh, uh, it, it's the cream of the crop. Yeah, it's, it it's has one. to be dethroned. Hopefully, to. this is not our number one game at the end of the season, Josh. Uh, if it is, then we've had a terrible fucking season. All right. Any predictions for next week, Josh? My prediction. I'm going back to our roots, George. Back to the roots. 
I am too. I like your uh, your thoughts on that. Going Will of Amiga. That's way back. That's, that's way that's season one. It's like season one, three of our first four games. Or yeah, something crazy. I mean, what did we have? I know we had uh, Super Putty, Dragon View. Uh, Dragon View wasn't an Amiga. It wasn't. No, Kid Cleats was an Amiga. I can't remember. We played it later on. Obitus. Obitus was an Amiga. Uh, and then there was. Hang on, I'm gonna cheat. Let's see here. If I can even remember what all our damn Amiga games were. Super Putty, Obitus. Um. Um. I'm about to beat you. Oh, fuck. Trying to think. Trying to think. Uh. The page is loading. Shit. I know we're got we're gonna feel stupid about one. Yeah, I know that's it's probably one I'm trying to think of right off the top of my like it's right there. I could fucking see it. You right on over but stamp. Maybe I was wrong. No escape. Kid Cleats was the third one that we played. Kid we Cleats. played that in the first seven. Yeah, and then we had Mister Nuts, which I do think was an Amiga game release as well. I could be wrong on that. If Mister Nuts was in the first ten, we played four Amigas. If not, we played three Amigas. Yeah. Uh, I thought we played more than that. Because our first season, we done 20 episodes yes. for it. But everything after that 10th one was golden. Because the first 10 was Dragon View, Roger Clemens, Super Putty, Obitus, Jeopardy Sports, No Escape, Adventure of Kid Cleats, Fatal Fury 2, Family Feud, Mr. Nuts. I feel like Mr. Nuts was one. Yeah, I don't feel it enough to pull the file up to look. Yeah, at what no, I did no, the no, research no, 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 no. But uh, so uh, you're going uh, uh, Wheel of Amiga. I'm gonna go sports. Uh, there are good sports games on the Super Nintendo. I promise, or they used to be good. Tech Mobile, Super Tech Mobile, Super Tech Mobile, is a fucking banger. So. It's a, it's a good one. Uh, NBA Live '95. You know, I'm chasing this fucking FIFA World Cup shit. And I got NBA it Jam. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say the game I probably see the most, and it's cheap, and I felt like it was a good game, but I've not played it in several years, is Super Tennis. I think that was a solid tennis game. I never played it. Uh, I remember playing it, and I remember enjoying it, but, uh, you know, also, what do we have? Go pick up rocks and eat dirt. That's all I had, so... (laughs) All right, well, we're wrapping it up. Uh, we're going to come back to you next week, and uh, I guess we'll see if Artie Lotfoot gets uh, dethroned. dethroned. See ya.